Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of Season 4, Episode 14 of Lucha on the Ground, called Pet Cemetery. And this was a good episode of Lucha on the Ground tonight, uh, in my opinion. This was a very enjoyable uh, episode. Uh, had three matches, uh, of course, and, uh, you know, didn't have no, you know, scenes there, you know, like before matches, but we did get a, uh, an end scene. So, uh, let's get started with the review. And, uh, the episode began with, uh, the Gift of the Gods championship match, uh, El Dragon Azteca Jr. Uh, versus Ivelisse. Uh, this was an enjoyable match. Uh, it was back and forth uh, between the both of them. Uh, really uh, liked uh, Ivelisse in this match, uh, which uh, what was really cool was uh, Vampiro and Max, Matt Stryker, uh, the commentators of Lucha on the Ground. They brought up, you know, how Ivelisse has a MMA background because uh, you know she was in a uh, she was in a headlock and. Uh, the end of the match, you had uh, El Dragon Azteca Jr. Uh, getting the win. He ended up in a leg drop uh, off the uh, off the top rope uh, onto Ivelisse. And so El Dragon Azteca Jr. Uh, ends up winning the match, retaining uh, the Gift of the Gods championship. And, uh, you know, we saw uh, both uh, El Dragon Azteca Jr. and Ivelisse uh you know, embrace uh, before, you know, El Dragon Azteca Jr. left. And uh, we saw Ivelisse uh, was still in the ring and Exolicious, aka Sonny Kiss, and Joey Ryan uh, appeared uh, at the top of the entrance and uh, Exo got on the mic and, you know, he wanted uh, Ivelisse uh, to team up with him and Joey Ryan. Uh, to challenge for the trios championships uh, so for the trios championship so that's gonna be that's gonna be cool to see uh, you know Ivelisse teaming up with uh, Exolicious and uh, Joey Ryan so that's gonna be uh, interested to see so, but all in all uh, it was an enjoyable match between uh, El Dragon Azteca Jr. versus Ivelisse for the uh, the Gift of the Gods Championship. And then when uh, Lucha on the Ground uh, came back from commercial, uh, we had uh, Melissa Santos uh, introducing uh, the next match. Uh, King Cuerno uh, ended up uh, entering uh, the ring. Antonio Cueto ended up coming out uh, from his office. Uh, Antonio ended up uh, informing uh, King Corno that, you know, there was uh, one man who has been more dominant uh, than him, than King Corno. And, and, you know, he also, and that, you know, King Corno also deserves a title shot uh, against Pentagon Dark. You know, a, title sh a shot at the Lucha on the Ground Championship. And Antonio then makes a match between King Cuerno and his opponent, uh, which he was going to be taking on tonight. So this ended up being a uh, number one contenders match uh, to face Pentagon for the Lucha on the Ground Championship. And Antonio introduces Mil Muertes as uh, King Cuerno's uh, opponent. And... Then when Lucha on the Ground came back from commercial, we had the match. Uh, King Cuerno versus Mil Moretes, number one contender uh, to face Pentagon Dark for the Lucha on the Ground Championship next week. And the match started with uh, Mil Moretes getting the upper hand uh, in the match. And we saw the two, you know, exchanging uh, strikes. Uh, you know, the referee, uh, Mario Elias, uh, attempted to... Uh, break things up and uh, this was uh, outside of the ring uh, because both King Cuerno and Mil Muertes were battling outside the ring and so Mario Elias ended up coming in to break things up. He, he got thrown uh, to the side into the crowd and we just saw uh, both men were 
continuing to you know strike each other uh, for a few uh, minutes and then we saw Mario Elias uh, calling off the match and uh, Mortez, Mil Mortez and King Cuerno end up fighting uh, a lot more uh, the fans were uh, chanting bullshit uh, through this uh, because you know Mario Elias ended up uh, ringing the bell and this led to Antonio Cueto uh, coming out and he demanded that both that both of them would stop fighting and then he informed them that you know he doesn't punish violence he rewards it and so Antonio Cueto ends up making a match for next week and it's going to be King Cuerno, Milmore versus Mil Moretes versus Pentagon Dark in a three-way match for the Lucha on the Ground Championship. And uh, that's going to be interesting to see. That's going to be really uh, awesome to see. Uh, and then we saw uh, the two, we saw King Cuerno and Mil Moretes, you know, they were still fighting and Pentagon, uh, end up coming out he watched uh from uh the top and uh that was that that's that was how uh it ended but it's gonna be really cool to see next week uh king Cuerno, uh versus mil Moretes versus pentagon for the lucha on the ground championship uh as we all know probably probably they're gonna keep the title on pentagon so but all in all you know, the match itself, uh, it was, you know, decent up until, you know, the end where uh, Marty Elias, the referee, ended up calling off the match. So, and then uh, when uh, Lucha Underground came back from commercial, it was uh, the main event. Uh, it was uh, the Reptile Tribe, uh, Daga, Jeremiah Snake, Cobra Moon uh, versus... Aerostar, Drago, and Phoenix. Uh, this was for the Lucha Underground Trios Championship. And uh, before the match got on the way, uh, you know, Melissa Santos was introducing the match. Uh, Phoenix uh, ended up making his way to the ring, uh, which this was a different Phoenix uh, that we were seeing. You know, he came first. Uh, First, you had Aerostar and Drago come out, and then Phoenix. And, you know, like I said, this is a very different Phoenix than, you know, what we saw, you know, when he was, you know, be, you know before, you know, he was brought back. And, uh, the begin at, you know, during that, when they made their entrance, Jake Strong came out, a.k.a. Jack Swagger. He was, uh, at the top of the entryway. He ends up getting on the mic and he says, you know, if they won, if Aerostar, Drago, and Phoenix won the trio's titles, they'd be, the, they'd be defending the titles against him. And, you know, Jake Strong says he doesn't need anybody else, you know, to, uh, you know, to fight them for the trio's titles. And he says that, you know, a wrestler can beat a luchador anytime. So he had Jake Strong, uh, Jack Swagger, aka Jack Swagger, say that. And uh, then the Reptile Tribe came out to make their entrance. The show went to commercial. Then when it came back, the match got underway. Uh, the Reptile Tribe uh, versus uh, Aerostar, Dragon, and Phoenix. This was a good match. This was a good main event. Very enjoyable match uh, where uh, you saw the Reptile Tribe uh, started things off, and uh, Melissa Santos uh, with cuts where uh, it would be shown on her, uh, and she had, and she had like a concerned look on her face, you know, worried about uh, Phoenix, and uh, you know we had uh, Daga and Jeremiah Snake uh, getting a lot of offense, getting a lot of offense. Uh, before uh, Drago, you know, came back. Phoenix ended up getting tagged in and got some, uh, got
got some offense in, which was cool. And uh, what was really cool was uh, Matt Stryker and Vampiro kept pointing out at you know Phoenix's uh, char character development, which uh, was getting interesting uh, during this. Uh, in the match, Aerostar ended up asking Phoenix, you know, ended up uh, asking for a tag from Phoenix, uh, who, you know, he then chopped uh, Aerostar aggressively. And, uh, you know, then we saw Aerostar uh, hitting several spots while, you know, we saw, like, Phoenix was acting a little weird. And uh, Drago uh, got Phoenix to help, you know, him uh, with the dive. And Phoenix ended up uh, spending more time. We saw, like, Phoenix was in uh, some sort of trance. And... Phoenix then just end up hitting a super kick to Aerostar. And so after he hit uh, Aerostar with the super kick, Phoenix then hit a fire driver uh, to Aerostar. And he ended, Phoenix just ended up leaving the match. And after Phoenix did this to Aerostar, it allowed Jeremiah Snake to end up uh, picking up the win for the Reptile Tribe. So the Reptile Tribe still retained the Lucha Underground Trios Championships. And, uh, yeah, so they're not, you know, they weren't going to give, you know, they weren't going to take the, uh, the Lucha Underground Trios Championships off the Reptile Tribe, you know, that fast. So, but this is yet an interesting uh, with uh, Phoenix, you know, how... You know this character the development uh is going uh so far is going you know with phoenix you know him returning you know after being brought back you know at the beginning of last week's uh episode in the opening scene to last week's episode then we had uh after the match uh melissa santos was trying to you know say you know try to talk to phoenix saying you know what's wrong and phoenix was continuing to act, you know, weird and very aggressive. And he ended up shoving uh, Melissa Santos, ended up pushing her, shoving her down. And we saw, you know, he ends up walking away. El Dragon Azteca Jr. Uh, comes out, you know, to check on Melissa. And uh, pretty much that's what happened. So, but... Like I said, this is getting interesting uh, with uh, Phoenix. You know, this this looks like you know a uh, you know like Phoenix you know heel being a heel. So we'd like to see where you know this goes uh, with Phoenix uh, through the season. So, but all in all, Reptile Tribe versus uh, Aerostar, Drago, Drago, and Phoenix. It was a good match. It was a good main event. Uh, very enjoyable. And uh, then we had uh, an end scene where uh, we're in Antonio Cueto's office. Mario Mart Martinez comes in, comes into his office. Mari drops some cash on uh, his desk. And... Uh, the only reason why he did that is because he heard Antonio give his sister, uh, who of course is Mariposa, uh, Gift of the Gods uh, title shot uh, for the amount that uh, Mariposa ended up putting down on uh, Antonio's uh, desk. And, you know, with that, Antonio says to Marty that uh, he would make uh, the match to, uh, you know, to Marty's, you know, delight, you know, to... Uh, impress Marty and uh, so yeah so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, Mario Mar Martinez versus El Dragon Azteca Jr. Uh, for the get the gods championship and so Marty ends up dropping more cash on Antonio's desk and he says to Antonio there's something else you know that I want and the show uh, ended the show 
you know, that close the show. So, but this, but this was uh, interesting. You know, Mar Mar Martinez versus El Dragon Azteca Jr. This is going to be interesting to see for the uh, for the gift of the gods championship. So, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for my review of Lucha Underground, uh, season four, episode fourteen, called Pet Cemetery. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this uh, review. And uh, definitely uh, give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and until the next video, I'll see you all later. Bye.